Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm a user experience designer at Spiceworks Sif Davis. I'm here to give you a brief overview of some of the main features of Cloud Help Desk. But first, if you are interested in seeing what's new this year in Cloud Help Desk, check out our breakout session at This Spice World 2021 on Wednesday, 10, 15 a.m. Central with Ben and Siddharth. They will be talking about exciting topics like our Cloud Help Desk Early Access mobile app, our Cloud Help Desk Browser View Alpha, and all the details you need on how you can test them out yourself right now. Don't miss it. All right, on to Cloud Help Desk. Here we are in the browser view. When you finish the sign-up phase, you will land in the main tickets view where you will spend most of your time. In the top left, you can view and create filtered views of tickets. Some of them come out of the box, like open tickets are closed, but other ones you can create yourself. Top right is a place to filter, search, or submit a ticket. End users can also use a user portal to submit and view their tickets. Within a ticket, there are features like the ability to add attachments, respond publicly to an end user or privately to your team, or even attach devices from our online inventory. From here, you can also set up a remote session with your end user, or you can mute a ticket so it stops sending email notifications for a while. From the dashboard, you can view basic stats either across your organization or view stats for each of your organizations. As you can see, I'm not doing too well. In the activity feed, you can see all that you and your teammates have done recently in the help desk. In the knowledge base, you can upload or create your most frequently cited articles and FAQs so that your team or end users can reference it in a ticket. In reports and exports, you can create filters to create a custom report, see the changes live, and then export it. Then you can save it and reuse it again and again. In the ticket rules area, you can create rules to designate what happens when a ticket fits a certain criteria, such as automatically assigning it to yourself if it's related to onboarding a new user. In the monitors and alerts area, you can customize the type of alerts you and your team get when a ticket fits a certain criteria, such as sending you an alert when a ticket is soon to be overdue. For your end users, you can set up user portal where they can submit and view the latest updates to their tickets. You can choose to allow anyone to submit a ticket in the portal or use Active Directory or email authorization to keep it within your organization. Besides from what I've already mentioned, there are many more features you can explore yourself. It only takes a few seconds to set up a cloud help desk and it will always be free for you and your team. If you ever have any questions, you can always contact support at spicebricks.com. Thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoy your Spice World experience.